just the way I am. So, so it's really nice that the, the core group for the Chance for Change Committee is here. As always, the same number of people just keep showing up and keep supporting us, and it's been years. And we've got some new additions each year, but but we really we really thrive on the core. Now this year was an interesting year for us. We had a, a, a very aggressive fundraising goal, um, but we had some challenges. Uh, Sydney's health was a challenge this year, and, and my health was a challenge this year. So I, I owe a huge thanks. I'm gonna get emotional. Sorry. I owe, I owe a huge thanks to the core group because oh, oh, I can't do it. with Sydney and I pulling out, we didn't miss a beat, and it was probably our best event ever. So that means next year, I don't have to worry about what I'm going to wear again because two days before the event, I'm going to pull some kind of shenanigan that says I can't make it. <laughs> because that's always the biggest stress factor for me is what am I going to wear for the event? I think Sydney goes to the same thing, and we're like, we love putting it together. We love doing all of the work to to, to raise the funds, uh, to bring the sponsors together, to get the invitations out there, make the event venue look beautiful. But then the night of the event, it's like, can I just leave? <laughs> I think Alexis does that as well. I'm pretty sure. Um, this year, I really want to thank Kelly Hagan um, because when Sydney and I, yes, when Sydney and I had to step back for for our health reasons, Kelly didn't miss a beat, and I don't even think we had to ask her to help. Um, she shadowed me this year through the whole process because she knew there'd be a point where I might have to pull out, and so when it did happen, it was seamless. And, and I didn't really think it was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you were the smart one because the whole the whole time you prepared. She kept saying, let me help you with everything. So right from the sending emails out to the fundraising to the asking the sponsors for money, Kelly got involved in all of it this year. Um, and I think the organizing of people, like even with Kate and Emily and Jess and Maria, Sydney or um, Kelly took charge of that. And, and you guys were all reporting to her by the time we put that event on. So when my surgery date popped like that, we didn't miss a beat. Um, and, and get ready with your little things because okay. in this year our goal was $175,000 and we raised $210,000. Wow. The event was different for us this year. We've had celebrity MCs in the past, and this year we had a friend. We had somebody who's intimately involved with people involved in the event, and, and so Scott, you did a fabulous job, from what I understand. I, I wasn't able to enjoy it. I it saw some of the personal. video clips. Very nice. yeah. very and, and that personal touch, I think, really yeah. helps because people know you're one of us, and you're there to, to help something that's meaningful to, to all of us. Um, Certainly was my pleasure. Yeah, that's it. And my fear. <laughs> <laughs> People picked up on that. Yeah, and I have to give special thanks to, to Maria and her family because the McGuckin family shows up the day before the event. Maria helps all along, but the day before, the day of, and the day after the event, we have this group <laughs> that comes out of nowhere, David and Stuart and Colleen and their friends, and things just happen. And I know Kelly said to me all she had to do was look at Maria and then something would get done. So the communication between the two of you was, was huge this year. So it's so very, very grateful. Um, Kate and Emily, thank you so much. I mean, Kate says I'm a basket maker, but yeah, right. <laughs> she organized all of that this year. And you organized the gatherings, the get-togethers. You bought some of the supplies for it. And, and I didn't have to worry about it. That's usually a, a hugely stressful part of the event for me this year. And, I mean, I watched it happen in my in my living room, but it was it was fun just to watch it happen this year. And Emily, you know, you do everything. You had the photographer this year, the videographer, and that came out of nowhere. And the video on the website is nice and and hugely grateful because Sydney and I have had to put that together in the past, and it's not fun, is it, Sydney? It's not as easy as I thought it would be. Well, you know. For me, after the event, it's after the event. I just want to walk away. So these things that have to happen after the event, it was just so nice to have you, you folks take care of that for us. And Jess, you're helpful. You jump right in there. You help make the baskets. She does a lot of collecting, a lot of fundraising. She's out in the Kitchener area, and Jess just knocks on doors, and she's not shy. <laughs> so <laughs> it's really neat some of the stuff she brings in because she brings some of the, uh, the interesting, unique items in. Um, and my family always benefits because she, she donates her siesta key um, for personal condo. 
and I have to ante up the money and outbid whoever's bidding on it up here because my mom and dad like to go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Marie and Taryn, I mean you two, Kelly told me, yep, Kelly told me a hundred times this year that they, they, she wouldn't have been able to do it without the two of you. Because I think every time you needed something you were able to, to say it, whether it was supplies or assistance or go do this. And, and you know, the day of the event I was there for a few hours. My little sister brought me. I wasn't supposed to be there. <laughs> but I could see all the It was the oxy right? It was easy working in this group. <laughs> and then Chris, well, she's already said it. She does everything. So <laughs> Chris wears many hats. I think this is the first year you got really I wasn't involved. allowed to wear the hat, though. Well, that is <laughs> very true. Chris wanted to have a, a, was it rabbit ears? It was the uh, kind of the Mad Hatter. Yeah. Chris was in charge From of decorations. It was one Wonderland. of the areas that she was she was in charge of, and she wanted us to wear yeah, costumes. And we were going for it. Were we <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're shy or what, but uh, yeah, we'll have to we'll have we'll, we'll costumes. I don't know. You know, I struggle well, with what to wear. It depends on how much money they make from the raffle tickets. Mm -hmm. Like if if there's a lot of money that can be made, you got to go yep. for it. But if you can't make the money. There's no point. But we were grateful for your ideas. I, I was there the day of the event. I saw you decorating and putting things together. It was fabulous. You brought in some wonderful and unique prizes, which was really good. We have Marguerite. As, as we know, she's our host, but that's not all she does. Marguerite does some amazing fundraising. She needs to do it a little earlier each year. <laughs> because Marguerite likes to tell me she the night before, does it I have all this one really night. great thing. <laughs> but we love the stuff you bring in. You have an amazing network. I work best the depression. We all do. And then there's Sherry over here who's walking around. And Sherry's, Sherry's our first board member crossover chance for change person. Like, like she's the one outside of Sydney who plays a huge role on the board, but plays a very huge role with the, the fundraising event. And it's a wonderful tie for us because she knows why we need the money. She knows where it's being spent. And she gets down and, and gets into the, the dirty stuff and helps us do those details that require the event. So over the course of the five years, we've raised over $500,000 as a group, us, us just, just us, this core group. Um, and, you know, Julie will tell you the things we're doing, so the, the research is phenomenal. So all I can say is thank you all very, very much. Um, I look forward to working with you again next year. And yes, our vice chair will probably be running it, <laughs> because as I sit on the board, I might be doing some other things. Um, not that I walk away from Chance for Change, I'll still be very, very involved. But um, salute to all of you. And just salute. A fabulous, fabulous Congrats. To chance for change at all of the foundation's volunteers. Yes. Now Sydney's hiding over there. We have to thank Sydney as well. <laughs> Sorry, Sydney. Sydney is also the board member that does all the crossover and, and you know all these years that we've worked on the event, she's right in there with us. She's raising the funds and then she's telling me who to go after to get more sponsors. <laughs> and then she's always with the details, going, no, this has to be green or this has to be oh. red or whatever. But you've been hugely helpful. Mm -hmm. That means I want to. And we've always appreciated your involvement. Thanks, everybody. Cheers. 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 Cheers.